guys and welcome back to another Remembering Forgotten Memories video. So this one brings us way, way, way back to when I was four and a half. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of this I don't necessarily remember firsthand. I have been told in great detail about it for many years. And then video surfaced of it. So, um, yeah, I know I have the events correct. The parts that aren't on video are ironically the ones I do in fact remember, but the actual traumatic part of it, oh, that's the part that apparently I blocked out, which kind of unlike me, because usually my brain, like, leaps onto the traumatic parts and remembers that and, like, forgets everything else around it, but, oh, god, just because of it being June... Had I not been, like, off basically all social media for the first couple weeks of uh, June, probably would have uploaded this at the correct timing, but this was when my first sibling was born and when I first met her. Kind of, sort of met, I should say. But, um, irony. I was the kid who begged, begged and begged and begged and begged and begged for a sibling, specifically a sister, Lucked out, even got the preferred gender and everything, and then had the gall to be mad about it when it happened. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, all leading up to it, I was super stoked, right? Even day of, even having heard she was born, was super excited about this. I spent the night with my grandparents. Because, you know, my dad was kind of at the hospital with my mom. Because she was having my sister. And, like, my grandparents brought me out to, like, buy me a new toy or two. It's like a congratulatory thing. So, like, I remember they let me buy a My Little Pony. I still remember the exact one. It was that one with, like, the little magician top hat. And, like, the cloud over it. I guess, like, a magic poof over it, and if you, like, rubbed it really hard with your thumb, like, a bunny would appear in it. Except I'm a little weakling and could never quite manage to make the bunny appear myself, so I always made the grown-ups do it for me so I could see the bunny. Anyway, so I got that. I got, like, a toy doctor's kit, and I got a Fisher-Price Little People VHS tape. It was, like, the sing-along songs one. And I want to say, like, a teddy bear that had, like, a music box in it, but I didn't ask for that one. My grandma just gave me that one, but anyway. So, these are my presents for being a big sister, in addition to the necklace that my dad gave me that said big sister, and apparently there was a matching one that said little sister that was meant for her for when she was older, but by the time she got hers, I had busted mine because I was that kid that liked to bite necklaces. You know... Like, that girl on Bob's Burgers that, like, sucks on the locket. That was me. That was me. I cringe every time I see the character because I can still taste the metal in my mouth. And some sick part of me still wants to do it. I've broken myself with the habit. But, but it, I'd be lying if I claimed the desire wasn't there. Anyway, so, totally not the point of this, but this is all the lead up, all was happy, all was good, all was great in the world, thought I was living my damn best life, got to spend the night on the fold-out bed, my grandparents' house in the living room, which meant I could stay up and watch cartoons as late as I freaking wanted. Fabulous. For a four-and-a-half-year-old. By late, it was probably all of, like, 9 p.m., but, like, you know, as you do. So, following afternoon, go down to the hospital to meet said sibling. My aunt was also there, with a camcorder in hand. On top of the camcorder, my grandpa was also with. So there's not one! There's two different video accounts of this shit that goes out. Uh, I'm all fine and dandy. Walk it in, walk it through that place like I own the place, all super stoked, I'm all happy, I'm all excited. We get to, like, where that window is for the nursery, and my dad's in there, and he waves to me, and he picks up my sister. And I lose my freaking shit. 
put her down now. <laughs> Just like what the fuck? She's stealing my daddy. Like full on, like threw myself on the floor, kicking and screaming, like losing my goddamn mind. Because how dare he pick up a child who is not me? Oh, <laughs> like it got so ugly. You think I'm exaggerating? Oh no, no, no. If I knew how to transfer VHS to digital, I would be including the clip right here. Because like I said, there's not one. There's two different videos of this from opposite angles. And my dad's face is just like, I don't know. Like he's behind the glass. There's nothing he can do. He's in there kind of just looking at me like, what the hell? And my grandma's just like, do you hear the headlines of, but you wanted a sister, there she is, no, put her back, put her back, put her back where she came from, actual words that came out of my mouth, oh, now again, I don't consciously remember doing that part, but I have seen the video, I have seen the video, I only heard about this, until I was about 19 and my grandma one day while I was at her house I was like hey I found this tape I want to show you and she did not warn me what it was and the second I saw a little me walking in the hospital hallway I was like oh no oh no because till that day I didn't know there was a video of it I thought everyone was just exaggerating this <laughs> God, if anything, they downplayed it. Oh my god. Like, you see people walk by the background with, like, just this horrified look on their face of, what's wrong with her? Like, oh my god, is she okay? And I'm screaming, no! <laughs> like, oh my god. And my poor aunt is like, are you happy to be a big sister? Like, clearly, I am having a meltdown. And she asks, are you happy to be a big sister? And, no! I hate it! My life's over! I wish I were being overdramatic right now. No! Four-year-old me said those damn words in that moment. <laughs> My god. My sister didn't do anything but be bored. Like, it's not her fault that I was a freaking psycho in that moment. Like... I didn't know I was going to be a psycho in that moment till it happened because I was very much daddy's girl. I was his little shadow that followed him everywhere he freaking went when I was a little kid if he was home. So to see him suddenly with another kid that wasn't me, oh, it did not sit well. Apparently this never dawned on me in all of that time that I was begging for a sibling that, hey, yeah, there will be another kid around to play with, but you're going to have to share your parents with them. And your toys while you're at it, but more importantly, you're going to have to share your parents. I have to wonder if this would have gone down differently if my mom had been the one holding her. If I would have just been like, eh, and just like clung to dad's leg or something. I don't know. I don't know. Because I did not predict I would have acted like that seeing my dad hold her. Obviously, I eventually got over that shit. Eventually. I, I wish I could say it was quickly, but mm, your girl kind of harbored a grudge for a while. Kind of harbored a grudge. Not proud of it. I'm just telling it like it was. There was literally a thing in kindergarten where we had to, like, fill it out. It was like a questionnaire kind of thing about yourself, like, your favorite and least favorite sounds, smells, blah, 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 like, so on and so forth. And I shit you not, for the least favorite sound, I, like, the teacher's aide, I remember, like, her sitting us down one at a time to interview us for the thing and writing down our answers, because apparently, if we were normal children, this would have been a very cute project, but because I'm a psycho, like, <laughs> there was a call home. <laughs> least favorite sound. My evil demon sister crying all the time. She never stops. <laughs> it's just like, oh boy. And another one of the questions on it. If you could do anything you wanted, what would it be? <laughs> Put my sister in a box and mail her to Abu Dhabi. Which, 
is a Garfield reference. Okay, I had clearly heard the phrase on Garfield. That I do remember. Because it's what Garfield always tried to do to normal. So apparently, because I freaking love Garfield, apparently in my brain, him doing that to normal made me fantasize doing that to her. Oh god, there was most definitely a call home. There was a long sit-down talk about this. <laughs> there was a long explanation given to the teacher that, yeah, our baby has colic and cries all the time. But... Now, see, this is why I wonder if it also might have been slightly different had this happened today, now that they're better at detecting autism in girls, because back then, I don't think they even realized it happens to girls yet. I think they still assumed it was just a boy's disease at that point in time, in 1990. So I was undiagnosed at that point. But in hindsight, yeah, the sudden, loud sounds probably did not sit well with me. Probably added to this. So it just, it was a whole clusterfuck of bad, but just, oh my god. The epic meltdown in the hallway. <laughs> and it's on film forever. I have both copies. I have both copies. <laughs> I'm not proud of them. <laughs> yeah, they felt the need to make sure I saw the way I acted. Yeah, yeah. The irony is that that sister and I are like this now? We are like besties now? But like at the time, oh my god, this was like the end of the freaking world at the time. Like, oh my god. Like, I was already bad enough with like just going from being the only grandchild to having to share with one cousin who'd been born at that point. Or actually, I guess by then it was two. I had one on each side by then. But... I was bad enough with the first one and having to acclimate to that, but then to have it hit closer to home, uh, yeah, yeah, it got really, really ugly, like, for a really long time, actually. Like, I wish I could say that I was a normal kid who acclimated quickly. No, this kind of went on for years. Yeah. Yeah, not proud, not proud, but... Like I said, like, we have more than made up for lost time at this point. Like, we have gone as far the other direction now. But yeah. Oh my god. The irony. When my brother was born... Oh, I freaking loved him! And apparently my famous words over that one... Oh, this one's quiet! I like him! Wow. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But in that hallway, just big meltdown. Ended up making it into my mom's room where she was recovering. And I am just a sobbing fucking mess. And she's like, oh my god, what's wrong? And I'm just like, oh, baby, stop my daddy. I hate everything. And she's just like, oh my god, what? And, I'm, and she's laughing, which of course is making me cry hard. Why the hell am I welling up? Oh my god. But like, like this is like a really very deep trauma. But like, she's laughing, so it's making me cry harder. And to her, she's just like, the whole ridiculousness of this, she's just like, But you wanted this! We wouldn't have even had another kid if you didn't ask for one! We were happy to stop at one! I could have lived a very different life, but in hindsight, I would have also been very, very lonely, so I'm glad that I didn't do that, so, because that would really suck for me now if I had no siblings, but, oh my god, yeah, just in that moment, it was like that meme of the, and in that moment, it was then, she knew she fucked up, but, like, <laughs> but, like, obviously, it all ended up fine, it all ended up fine overall, but just, Went from thinking that this was, like, the one thing I wanted more than anything until I actually got said the thing and then wanted absolutely no freaking part of this and kept asking my mom, but can't you put her back in? No, no, it really doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. That is not an option. Oh. Can you sell her? I no. Could you put her up for adoption? 
No. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Even at heights, I'm like, damn, little me, you're fucking brutal. Calm down. Oh my god. That's <laughs> like, well, can she, like, live somewhere else? <laughs> like, no, she's coming home with us. She's our daughter, too. Like, Nah! <laughs> just like meltdown all over again like it took me a while to just come to grips with all of this yeah yeah although by the time she was old enough to have toys that i wanted to play with suddenly suddenly this was a whole other thing because like wait but like if she has toys now i don't play them it's like i have twice as many toys there four yeah, suddenly warmed up as at that point, but still wasn't entirely out of the woods, but was at least pointed in the right direction. Yeah, it was still a process to get there that, a shame to admit, took till basically adulthood to actually get there. But still, we, we eventually got there. Better late than never, but, you know. Yeah, this is one of those stories where it's like, I am definitely dragged my feet on posting it so many times so I was like I should tell that one because I feel like people would either laugh at it or relate to it because I'm sure I'm not the only one who had a complete meltdown at suddenly not being the only child anymore but at the same time I was like yeah but it also makes me sound like a terrible person because <laughs> you know I'm not the same person I was at four years old just shocker but like Still, like, I, I know how bad it sounds and how bad it freaking was. Like, in reality, it was bad. It was bad. But, like, we've come a long way since then. Like, a really long way since then. So, anyway, yeah. So, that is that story. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And I really kind of wish I could insert that footage just so you could see just how over the top and dramatic I was at four. To the point where my mom was like, should we put her in drama classes? <laughs> like, maybe she could channel it. <laughs> and that wouldn't happen until high school. But still, anyway. <laughs> anyway. That is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already, if you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. See ya.